Uh, good morning. Good morning, everyone. Oh, actually, it should be good afternoon. Uh, actually, the, the section before lunch is always very challenging, but I will keep it short, right? Uh, anyway, first of all, I'm so honored to be the speaker of the event today. And really thank you, Argon and Amy, for the kind invitation. And in today's presentation, I would like to share with you on our project, AI-enabled zero trust security solution for the digital campus. And before we start, uh, let me give you some brief background of Hong Kong Baptist University. We are one of the top research-led liberal arts institutions in Asia. And we have a total of eight faculties and schools offering a range of undergraduate programs, top postgraduate programs, research lab uh, postgraduate programs, leading to the award of master and doctoral degrees. And our vision is to be a leading liberal arts university in Asia for the world, delivering academic excellence in a caring, creative, and global culture. The year 2020 and 2021 was years full of challenges and was a dark year, but it has a silver lining. You can see that the global pandemic has already spread an unprecedented rate of transformation and technological advances. And you can name a lot, ranging from telemedicine, digital supply chain, and vaccine being created in a year. We, Hong Kong Baptist University, HKBU, is actually on the edge of a big digital transformation to transform a better user experience and also higher operational efficiencies for both staff and students. And one of our objectives is to basically uh, use uh, digital transformation as a, as a tool or a technique to enhance the student experience with a personalized offering along the entire student life cycle. And user experience or student experience is always on the top of our mind when we are doing the digital transformation. Because at the end of the day, who is going to use what, what, what we have implemented are the users. So experience is always on the top and one of the biggest focus in our digital transformation. And we also utilize technology, data, and analytics to facilitate data-driven operations to, for higher operational efficiencies. So when we are banking on the digital transformation, we need to cater for the growth channels, touch points, and platform along the whole digital transformation journey. And cybersecurity is definitely one of the key enablers for this smooth adoption. At HKBU, we have adopted an NIST security framework enabled by various security solutions to realize the security vision. And basically, there are five components. Identify, protect, detect, respond, and recover. We use this framework all along for our protection of our campus. And from our perspective, there are some emerging needs in the security governance of the university. And here, I just name a few for our discussions that is relevant to this solution deployment. The first one is on the more exposure to the potential attacks with the going channels, systems, network, and architect, and infrastructure. And this will be actually uh, quite obvious that when you have more IP devices, more mobility devices, and smart devices connected to the network, so you will definitely have more ex exposure to the potential attacks. Another area is the increased security risk and broader surface due to the extended coverage and perimeter. And one of the very trivial examples that I can share with you is that our students and professors are using cutting edge IoT devices connected to the campus to do their research. And so it is really very obvious that it will actually increase the security risk and broaden the exposure and also the attack surface. Another area that is worth to mention is the greater demand for the transparency and protection in data privacy and personal information. This is also very trivial in the sense that more people are bringing their own devices. They bring their own devices to do the real-time, sensitive, personal data transactions. 
And so the, the data privacy and also the data protection will become more and more important in the campus security perspective. And from the technical perspectives, there are challenges to overcome in shaping and comprehensive security solutions. And what we really need is to have a holistic view of all the systems and, for, and endpoints for campus securities. And compared to the security deployments that we have today, they are basically the traditional uh, security solutions that can only give you some limited visibilities because they are only point solutions. And what we really need is to really to have a holistic view of the whole campus. Another challenge that we are facing is that we would need to monitor and enforce the security standards, policy, and rules across the campus via centralized platform and tools so that we can easily manage it in a central location and have a consistent experience in actually managing all the different actions and incidents happening around the campus. And also to monitor and analyze the shifting user behavior and device patterns for preventive actions is also very, very important. Especially nowadays, we have a lot of IT and OT devices connected to the campus. Some of them you may not even know or may not be even heard about that. There are thousands of OT devices that is actually coming out from the world every, every single day. So how can you protect, protect your campus? With, with a very sensible monitoring and analysis, using the data analytics, monitoring the user behavior and device pattern, etc., is very important. And finally, we also need to create a foolproof and sustainable solution under a complex, multi-layer and multi-technology environment. So, when we are going to looking at the solutions in the, in the market. We cannot find any off-the-shelf solutions that can meet our needs. So what we did at that time is that we co-develop, co-create, and collaborate with two partners. They are very helpful partners, Checkpoint and also Order, to implement an AI-enabled zero-trust security solutions for the campus. And our solution is called the IoT AI Matrix Defense, using multidimensional an AI-enabled zero-trust security solution. And when we are talking about multidimensional, we are talking about various dimensions, ranging from user attributes, uh, device attributes, location attributes, behavioral attributes, so that we can use attribute-based access control to control the access. And these solutions have five components. Let me walk through them with you one by one. The first one is the behavioral analysis. And for the behavioral analysis, we are using AI and machine learning type of techniques to closely monitor the changing patterns of the device and users so that we can understand what is really happening uh, in, in the campus. And the, and the second one is the end-to-end -end visibility, where we can use auto IoT discovery and device man management. As I mentioned before, that there are many OT devices putting on your network. If you are going to manually track all of these devices, basically it is possible, but it's very, very tedious for your operations, for all of, all of the work that, that you need to do. So if you, you can have the, something that can actually track all of these OT devices automatically and do the automatic discovery, understand the flow patterns of that and also the flow genome, then a lot of work can be saved. The third one is the, the Zero Trust Framework, where we can use IoT risk assessment and policy enforcement to make sure that our policy has been enforced in, 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 in the campus. And of course, we need to have a central threat management that can give you a management overview and also the operational dashboards for your daily operations. And finally, is the proactive defense where we can use automated defense with AI-enabled deep learning to actually guard against those critical and high security vulnerabilities while leaving those medium and low-risk vulnerabilities for your operational team to work on. So you can see a lot of advantages here is that you can save a lot of manpower 
of your security team in doing a lot of the repetitive tasks and daily tasks. So this solution is powerful in, in, in the sense of a couple of areas. One is that it gives the complete visibility of the IT and OT devices in your network without any manual intervention. That is very important. Many of the OT devices are coming out every day and, and we just need to click start the solutions and then and it will do the auto discovery. Secondly, is that the user will be more, much, much more happy because you don't need to interrupt the users as we don't need to install any agents on the IT and OT devices compared to the existing solutions that you have been deployed. So, of course, you user don't need to do anything. Your IT team also doesn't need to do anything. So, user experience, as I mentioned before, is one of our a big initiative and also one of our big focus in the whole digital transformation. So we definitely will go for that. And the third area is that we can achieve the automatic defense using AI-enabled uh, solutions. And you can automatically defend all those vulnerabilities without, without actually your intervention on that. So this is a really a powerful solution. And with this robust platform, it can facilitate our timely decision making and high efficiency in the security operations. For the management dashboards, you can actually have the whole view of the whole campus in real time. So every time or every day when you are go looking at the management dashboard, you can see how many attacks are coming to your campus. How many of them are blocked? Are they botnet, ransomware, or or other malicious attacks. You can actually do it in your fingertips. And for the operation team, they have the real-time integration with all, all the different products. So they can have the different dimensions and can drill down to look at the de user, device, location, and behaviors for their troubleshooting by the security operations. So you can see that the operation team or the security team, they are actually changing from a reactive mode to a proactive mode to do the actions and, and actually uh, work, working on the security operations seamlessly. So this is the solution that we have deployed. And basically, you can see that for the uh, internet traffic, you are using the existing internet security firewall for, for that. And for the east-west internal traffic, we are deploying the IoT AI matrix defense solutions using uh, uh, checkpoint and all the integrated solutions to deploy that, which I have just mentioned. And depending on the size of the campus, we, you can put the corresponding number of intranet on-campus security firewall over there. And on the top, we have the management and operational da dashboard. And this project is very significant for both Hong Kong Baptist University as well as for the vendors, because we spent about nine months working days and nights with the checkpoint and other team, working with the R&D team in the Israel and the United States to work out these particular solutions. So it is a big team effort to, to achieve this. So what did we achieve? So I would like to share with you on four areas that, uh, that, that we have got the good business outcomes and benefits. The first one is the better user experience. As I mentioned before, there is no surface interruption or no interruption or disruptions to, to the users because they even don't know what, what, what you're doing at the back end. They don't need to uh, install any of the agents on their IT or OT devices. That saves a lot of their time. So, so of course, they are more happy about that. And the other one is the ensure system and service availability and enhance the security measures and protection for data privacy. That is very important from the user perspective. Data privacy is always a number one concern when they're using the network or any mobility devices. Another area is the central visibility and management. And we have the complete visibility of the IoT devices in the campus with real-time visibility and also with a holistic view for central threat and risk management. So you can, 
imagine that the response times will be much more faster and that the operation team can actually focus to do the work that they need to do. The third area is the productivity gain, which they can improve the immediate response through adaptive protection control. And we can automate the AI proactive defense to reduce the manual efforts for repetitive tasks like investigation, troubleshooting, forensic, etc. And finally, is higher cost effectiveness by actually reduce the overall operating cost of, of, of your security team. We can optimize the direct cost in the security operations, which you can imagine, and also mitigate the indirect cost due to the security incidents for the investigations and also the uh, tr troubleshooting type of tasks. I'm really glad to share with you that uh, we are very lucky uh, that the John, you know, John team efforts and innovation were recognized by the market. And our project, AI Enabled the Zero Trust Security for the Digital Campus, has been named a 2022 CSO Award winner by IDG. This is a prestigious award in the IT industry, which recognized 50 organizations globally for security projects and initiatives that demonstrate outstanding business value and thought leadership. And our, our project is a pioneer in the education sector that delivers complete visibility of the IoT device and also the device management. And also at the same time, we enable autonomous threat prevention powered by AI and deep learning. And uh, in fact, we are very honored to get this CSO 50 award with other technology giants and leaders. And in this year, there are many uh, technology giants and leaders like Cisco Systems, SAP, Microsoft, Adobe Systems, and also some of the big MNC firms like Coca-Cola, United Airlines, Bank of America. And we are just a medium-sized university in Hong Kong. So we are really very honored to, to, to get this one. Thank you. Thank you. And going forward, uh, HKBU will continue to envision, co-create, and collaborate with the market leaders for more opportunities in building awareness of leading practices in cybersecurity. And hopefully, we can bring more positive changes to the industry in the years to come. Finally, to conclude my presentation, I would like to recap and share my vision with all of you that security does not come after experience. Security is part of the USR experience. And everyone has to think of trust and security in a brand new way. And, ho and hopefully you enjoy my sharing today. Thank you. <laughs>